it is 32 degrees and I'm here at Goodwill. Excuse my dirty windshield. Um, haven't been here. Well, I, I was here last week. I take that back. What's really interesting, you can't see it, but there's a Goodwill semi here. So I wonder if that means that the shelves will be stocked. Pray for me. Come on, Goodwill. Do me good. Okay, guys. So here I am in the knickknack section. Um, so it was really nice because it wasn't too crowded. Um, in fact, it was kind of dead up until it wasn't. <laughs> but when I first got there, I was able to fill my cart with quite a few things. I was trying to figure out what this alligator was. I mean, I thought he was kind of cool. I don't know if he was some sort of candle holder or what, but he had rhinestone eyes. I left him behind because I, I didn't know what he was. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of craft pieces. There's a sharper image magic box. Um, those clear glass candlesticks are really pretty. Um, I wasn't quite sure of the quality. There was no mark on them, so I did leave those behind. Um, that was interesting. This was just a craft piece as well, um, but I thought she did a good job. It was super heavy. As you can see, there's just some miscellaneous items here. Um, <clears throat> so this is really interesting. I don't know if you had a Dillard store in your area, but those were... Um, some old Dillard's Christmas ornaments. I left those behind too. I maybe should have comped them, but I don't want to say I'm over Christmas because I still love me some vintage Christmas. I did get really into it this year, but I decided not to pick that up. Um, and there's a little baby boot planter. I believe that was also a craft piece. Um, that bunny is adorable for Easter. Is he not cute? He's the craft piece. He's Holland mold. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I do show you the bottom of it. He's a huge piece, but I thought he was really well made. I did pick him up for an Easter sale. I had to. I'm serious. Whoever did that did a great job. Um, Look at all those milk glass. I know. I know. Don't say anything, Gina, if you see this. But I had to. I think someone's collection was donated. Okay. So these are Kenyan and there were three different candlesticks that each had a different animal. That one had a zebra. This is the rhino. Then there was an elephant. I love these. I have seen them before um, in some of my favorite stores. Um, I love Kenyan art. I think it's awesome. I have a friend that is from Kenya and um, I'm always moved when I see it. I did end up picking two of these up. You will see it in the haul. Um, here are just some more miscellaneous items in the knick-knack section. As you can see, there wasn't too much here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Then I realized they didn't have their arms, so they stayed. That kind of tricked me for a minute. I thought, could that be Hager? <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but it kind of looked like it to me. Um, so this is a really interesting piece, and I did get this as well. These are, I think those are fox terriers. You guys can let me know. Um, this is actually um, an English brand, and I, I didn't comp it. I thought it was cute. They're in, they're in boots, like they're in rain boots, and it's really well made. Um, I thought it was just, look at him with his tongue out. I just thought it was really cute. So I did go ahead and get that. So you will see that in a live sale. How cute are they, y'all? I can't believe I found so many goodies this day. <laughs> I really can't. It's not normal. There's a bunch of red glass votive holders um, in there. When I say a bunch, are probably like 50 or so. Somebody definitely needs to come in and straighten up this section. <laughs> As you can see, there's just a lot of plastic knickknacks here. Um, so, well, there's a Santa. I was trying to reach her. Um, so I thought she was kind of cool. This, you know, this lady reclining, very bougie, but unfortunately she was missing an arm as well. That is Westmoreland. It's clear glass. I left it behind. Um, so I thought about this this rabbit and egg for a while. 
I ended up not picking it up. I, I thought the rabbit looked a little bit cray cray. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but his eyes were a little bit scary. Um, there's just a little trinket dish there. Um, maybe made in Japan, probably made in China, so I left that behind. I didn't show it very long. Clown alert. These are kind of cute, though. Um, it's a music box, send in the clowns. Or no, it's not. Well, I guess it was at one point. Um, I did not end up picking it up because it was missing the music portion. That angel was cute, hey, but she's friends, damaged. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. Um, I still cannot believe on a Sunday late morning I was able to find so many things, but I'm sure glad I went. And I may start going to thrift stores on Saturday and Sunday. I guess maybe it was a misconception on my part that I wouldn't find anything because people would be shopping more, but maybe more people donate and it's good to check out or more people donate on the weekend and it's good to check out thrift stores. I, I just don't know, but oh my gosh, guys. So I got some pretty cool things. This is quite the eclectic mix. So I hope you like eclectic. If you watch my channel, you probably do because I myself am very eclectic. So without any further ado, let me show you guys what I picked up. So I got these glasses. Um, they are clear glasses. You can see they're anchor hawking and they are tiki glasses. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's clear glass. I probably should have put some paper in there or something. But guys, these are super cool. This was a really good find. Um, these go for about $15 a glass. So I was really lucky to find three of them. Um, it's two-sided, which I think is super cool. Uh, these are large glasses. They would be perfect for your cocktails. Um, yeah. How about some a rum drink in there? How about a pina colada? There's so many different options for that, but I think these glasses are amazing. They are in excellent shape. The anchor hawking hook is here on the bottom, as you can see there. Really cool glasses. I was very excited to find them. Then I got this uh, cheese board. I just thought it was cool because of the dome. Um, there are so many things that you could use this for other than a cheese board. Um, it's in excellent shape. I picked it up because I know a lot of you uh, like cloches and you have, you know, different crafting ideas for them. So I thought, you know, this is kind of cool. It's kind of like a cloche. You could put a miniature display in there. You could do so many different things. Even if you only wanted to use the top, you could use the base for something else. I thought it was cool. So I went ahead and picked that up. I got this little teapot. Um, first of all, I mean, who doesn't love pink and white? Pink. Oh my goodness. Blue and white. Do you think I need more coffee this morning? I do. Um, it's very, very classic color scheme. This is Andrea by Sedeck, which is pretty nice quality brand if you're not familiar. But this is just a tiny little teapot. I know some of you collect little teapots. and I thought this one was really cool. It is very well made cute little thing so I was happy to pick that up then I got this now I got this at Goodwill believe it or not this is Indiana glass and this is don't let the color deceive you it's not a glower gosh I wish it glowed but it is kind of like this Vaseline glass color this this yellow slash greenish color um but it's just this fat bird and I think it's adorable this fat little cute bird. This would be cool for an Easter display. I think it would be cool out in general with your glass collection. Um, it's really well made. It actually has the Indiana glass uh, sticker here on the bottom. Bird holder Dawn. I guess that is the color Dawn. I could see that. That's a pretty color for Dawn. That is for sure. Not what we're seeing here in Texas in the winter. That's that's for sure. Okay, so then I picked up these two Kenyan um, candlestick holders. Um, first of all, they're very boho. Um, they have an elephant with a very long trunk and a rhino on it. Um, there was a third one. I think it was a zebra, but it had some damage, so I did not pick that one up. Um, I just think these are cool, you know, and I, I see these Kenyan, um, I would, I don't know if they're tourist pieces. I guess they, they probably could be categorized like that, but I think they're really cool. I see them in a lot of places like World Market and the now defunct Pier 1. 
Um, these are in excellent shape, and I just thought the animal's um, design was really cool on these. I like that they're not matchy-matchy, but they look good together. Um, really well made, and I do believe one of them has made in Kenya. Barely on there still, um, but just really cool pieces. Then I picked up these butterflies. I know a lot of you love your 70s kitschy butterflies, so I got these. Um, these have a nice patina to them. That's how I'll put it. Um, they're kind of rusty and crusty, but I think that, that gives them character. They do still have their hooks to hang them on the wall. There's four of them total. Then I picked up two of these Westmoreland pieces. This is the old quilt pattern. Here's the bottom. Oops, there's some fuzz there. So I picked up two of these. Now, I know, I know, milk glass. I probably shouldn't be picking it up. Um, I, knew, I know some of you do like it. Don't get me wrong. But um, it's not everyone's favorite. But I just had to. They had a nice collection there. I guess somebody probably donated their pieces. Um, so I got those two larger Westmoreland candle holders slash planters slash candy dishes slash whatever you want them to be. Um, I love these. They've got a really nice weight to them. Um, the old quilt pattern is pretty cool. Um, did I show you the bottom? I did. Um, then I got this little uh, Fenton Hobnail bud vase with the ruffle. Always get these when I see them. Really nice piece. I had to clean these up, guys. I, I probably spent a good hour cleaning all of these, and, but they came out pretty good. Then I got this dish. Now, I'm not quite sure who makes this dish, um, but it is an older dish. I'm pretty sure you can see the ring of fire there. Um, it is very opaque. You can see my hand through it, but I haven't researched it to find out who makes this, but gosh, this is beautiful. Of course, you could use it in your bathroom, but it would also be great as a catch-all for your jewelry, your keys, whatever trinkets you may have. Um, so I love this shell. I think it's gorgeous. Then I got these two pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me while I lose my voice here. Now I can't remember who makes these. These might be Yo Brody. I can't remember. Um, but I got these two vases. And I thought these would be great for Valentine's Day. You could put, you know, red roses in them to add a little bit of a pop. Um, so those are really nice. And they are, they're matchy-matchy. Then I picked up these other two vases. And I love this hobnail. I'll tell you what, my brain is fried this morning. I think it was the cowboy game that did me in. But um, anyway, I'm not quite sure who made those two. I'll have to research them. But this um, here is Hoosier Glass, and I love this vase. It's got this really cool Starburst design on it. Um, it's got some weight to it. It's a really nice piece. And then this one, the Hobnails EO Brody. Yeah, I need about a gallon of coffee this morning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I also picked up some books, and let me show you this first one. This one is super cool. This is from 1886, I do believe, and it is the story of the capture of a Cynthia Ann Parker. Now, I have not um, researched the book. I picked it up because it's in great shape. Look, there she is with her baby. Um, Here is the copyright date. Um, I don't know who she was captured by. I don't know if it was, um, let's see if it says here. Oh, it was, she was captured by the Comanches, it looks like. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me while I lose my voice now, too. Um, this is dedicated to General L.S. Ross of Waco, Texas. So, this is just really interesting. Um, gosh, this was the Parker Fort Massacre, which, honestly, I'm a history major, and I really don't know anything about that. So, I'm going to have to find out a little bit more about it. Um, oh, gosh, it looks like she was captured twice really interesting. I, I really want to read her story. Um, so this was just a really cool book, especially considering how old it is. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of base how old something is off of family members. So my great grandfather, who I knew who was in my life until I was 26, 
which is amazing. I was so lucky to have him. He was born in 1898. So when I see something like this, I think, oh my goodness, this is old. And it is, and it's an excellent, excellent shape. Then I picked this up. Speaking of great-grandparents, his wife, um, my great-grandmother, used to cut out um, Heloise um, tips from the newspaper. Ones that she found were helpful, and she put them in a recipe book. Um, so, of course, I had to pick this up. This is from 1963, and this is all sorts of kitchen hints which is really cool. And look at this 60s graphic on this. So I had to get that. Sentimental, yes. Will any of you like it? I think so. Okay, so then I got this from 1932. Um, this talks about meat and various meat recipes. Um, I thought the graphic was really cool. Of course, this is really old. The copyright's actually 1931. Um, but it tells you all about roasting, grilling, boiling. Um, anyway, it's just a really, really cool book, piece of ephemera. I love this graphic. Isn't that cool, guys? Even though I'm a vegetarian, I had to pick this up because it's cool. So I also got some jewelry because I'm always going to get jewelry if I can find it. And the, these earrings are one of my favorites. Um, these are Mother of Pearl these are so deco looking. These are clip-ons. Not sure if they're from the 20s or not, but they certainly look like it. I love these. They're in excellent shape. Really, really cool. Then I got this really, really old brooch. Now I have tried to clean this up and I may have to try again because it does still have a little bit of tarnish and discoloration on it. Um, it definitely looks better now that I've cleaned it. But I got it based on the clasp. As you can see here, this is an old C clasp. And um, the shine. So these rhinestones just really, really sparkle. Uh, I think this piece is really cool. I think it's probably antique. But like I said, I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit more. But I just, I had to get that, guys. Um, I also picked up this ring. Now, I don't know how old it is. But it definitely looks Victorian to me. It kind of has a heart design. Kind of made me think of Valentine's Day. I do have a ring sizer, so I'm going to have to use it. But I think it's probably around a size 7 um, based on the way it fits on my finger. Isn't that cool? I love it. Love, love, love it. Then I picked up a couple of brooches that are a little bit more modern. Um, this is probably, my guess would be from the 50s maybe? Um, so this is just a beautiful, beautiful wreath design with these gorgeous pearls and AB crystals on it, or AB rhinestones. I'm trying to get it to focus. I think you can see the shine on that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is not marked. I don't think any of the brooches I'm showing are marked, but it's gorgeous and it's in excellent shape. These two were just glowing in the case, and I had to take a look at them. Okay, then the last piece of jewelry I got was this amazing brooch. Um, I have not cleaned this one up yet, but these ruby-colored um, faceted rhinestones are just gorgeous. Beautiful. I love the red and gold combination together. This is also great for Valentine's Day. Here's the back. This is an older piece, I do believe, as well. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so this is a little different. I, I went ahead and got them because, I mean, they're cool. And I know some of you craft with these. But these are old chandelier um, crystals or prisms. They had three of them, so I went ahead and got them. Um, I think they're cool. I have a luster that I'm trying to replace um, a crystal with, and I was hoping that this would work. But these are way too short. I don't know what I was thinking. But I don't regret picking them up because I think they're cool. And there are so many different things that people do with these. So I was really excited to get those. And well, guys, that's the end of the haul portion. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have my live sale today with Gina. We have a special guest today. Dear Angela's Vintage, our dear and precious Angela Marksberry will be joining us. And then I do want to remind you, of course, I'm going to put this up in the community tab. But my live sales have changed from Wednesday night to Tuesday evening. Uh, live sales on my channel will be at 7 Eastern on Tuesdays instead of Wednesday. So don't forget, mark your calendars, write it down, whatever you got to do to remember. And of course, we will still be having our jewelry sale every Friday 
And this week it will be on Gina's channel. That is at, I have to think here, 5 Eastern on Friday evening. So we've got our three sales a week still. We're just changing a day up. Okay, guys, I hope to see you later today. Hope you enjoyed everything. Don't forget to share, like, thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know if you see something you're interested in. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Monday. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.